Hi, it's Len Mooney, and welcome to this video. For many years, I owned the California Flight Academy, a prestigious flight training school in sunny San Diego. Some of you may know me. Some of you might have even learned to fly at CFA. I want to talk to you today about one of the most challenging problems in aviation, air traffic communication. We all know English is the accepted language worldwide for pilots and controllers, and every professional pilot and controller must pass an English proficiency test at what is known as ICAO Level 4. But is that good enough? Let's listen to the conversation between an Iberian pilot and a controller at JFK International Airport in New York. The pilot was previously cleared to land on runway 4 right, and runway 4 left is also active. The controller is attempting to issue taxi instructions. Let's listen in. I don't think you can, sir, but if you say you can, I don't think you can. Just hold short of four left, Siberian. Hold short of four left. Siberian, do me a favor, sir. I'm very busy tonight, and it's very busy here. Hold short of four left. Just read that back. No, you have to say hold short of four left. Iberian 6253, stop your plane. Iberian 6253 heavy, sir. Hold short of runway 4 left, attack to a Fox Bravo. Holding short before judging surrounding the Fox Bravo. Sir, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Just read back. Hold short of 4 left at Fox Cop Bravo. Short of Fox Bravo. No. No! Iberian, don't move your plane, Iberian. Stay right there. Four. I hope you will agree that this level of cockpit confusion is dangerous and unacceptable. As pilots, we need to be sure that we can understand and comply with all ATC instructions at any airport with any controller worldwide. Similarly, controllers need to be sure that their instructions are clear, unambiguous, and understandable. What can we do to help? My experience is that many controllers and presumably pilots in non-English speaking countries are taught English by non-English speaking instructors. That is to say the instructor has never been taught correct English pronunciation by a native English speaking teacher. The instructor therefore passes on poor pronunciation to the student. Together they can find common ground to understand each other and the student is able to pass an English proficiency test at some level. But take that student into a noisy, busy, sometimes confusing cockpit with a busy, rapidly speaking controller, put him or her under stress, and the ability to understand, speak, and comply goes downhill rapidly. As professionals, we need to solve this problem worldwide. Our customers depend on us being safe, and clear, understandable communication is pivotal to flight safety. I invite you to please leave a comment below. Let's start a conversation amongst ourselves about how best to solve this problem worldwide. Please also subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, by clicking the subscribe button. Go to my Facebook page and click on Aviation English to take a free test or if you are already there simply enter your name and email to the right and I will send you the free test and other material. See where you stand in the world of Aviation English proficiency. Blue skies, fair winds, and happy landings until we talk again. This is Len. Bye for now.